let us build an infrared sensor in this video. So here's how the final prototype would look like. Whenever the hand comes closer to the sensor, the output LED glows. Infrared sensors have a wide range of applications. They are used in line follower robots which can follow a particular colored line. They can also be used in obstacle avoidance robots. An infrared sensor can be placed at the entrance of your room and it can count the number of people entering the room. And the sensor circuit is very simple. So let's get right into it. You will need the following components for this circuit. This circuit is pretty similar to the previous light sensing circuit. Click here if you haven't watched the video yet. Instead of using the LDR and the resistor, this time we will use an infrared transmitter and the receiver diodes. So here's how they work. The IR transmitter diode and receiver diode are placed next to each other. The IR transmitter diode will be continuously sending out infrared radiations in the perpendicular direction. If any obstacle comes over, the rays get reflected and hit the infrared receiver diode which starts conducting in reverse bias. The amount of reflection depends on the color and surface of the obstacle. If the obstacle is white, there is more reflection. And if the obstacle is black, then there is very le less reflection. The diodes are connected in the circuit like this. So as we place our hand, the conduction increases, the voltage at this point increases, which is connected to the non-inverting input of the op amp, that is pin 3. So the output LED glows when there is an obstacle. If you have a supply of 9 volts, use the voltage regulator like in the previous video, or if you have a 5 volt supply, as in my case, use it directly. Let's place the circuit on a breadboard and see the result. The top line is going to be 5 volts and the bottom line our ground. First connect the IRTX LED in forward bias with 91 ohm resistor in series. Next connect the IR receiver LED in reverse bias with a 33 kilo ohm to the ground. Now connect the potentiometer and connecting its extreme terminals to 5 volts and ground. Next let's add the 741 IC to our circuit and connect pin number 7 to VCC and pin number 4 to ground. Make sure that you look at the pin diagram of the 741 while making these connections. Now connect the IR LED's anode to the non-inverting terminal of the op amp and the pot's center terminal to the inverting terminal of the op amp. Connect the LED and the 330 ohm resistor at the output pin of 741 which is pin number 6. And here you go, you are, you are done building the circuit. Connect the power supply and it should work. If it doesn't work, Try debugging this circuit just like in the previous video. I hope you learnt a lot and thanks for watching.